campers, this is Dawn, and today we're going to make a gift card holder. And yes, it looks like it's Christmas time, but it's really Christmas in July. On my blog, my team and I are hosting a blog hop focused on Christmas in July. So this is the project that I posted today on my blog, and the link to my blog for the blog hop is listed below if you want to check out everybody else's projects. So this is how the card opens up. And it opens up and reveals a gift card inside. And then also when you remove the gift card, there's another greeting inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's, let's start with the pieces. I'm using the Very Vanilla. And this piece is cut at 4 and a quarter by 11. And then you'll need another piece cut at 3 and 3 quarter by 6 and a half. Okay, so let's do the layers here. We got the Early Espresso. This piece is cut at 3 by 4. And then this piece is cut at 1 and 3 quarter by 4. We got crumb cake, which is cut at two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And this piece is cut at one and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And the very vanilla, this piece is cut at two and three fourths by three and three fourths. And then this piece of very vanilla is cut at one and a half by three and three fourths. Okay. So let's grab our stamp and trimmer. We're gonna score both of our larger pieces of the very vanilla. The first piece, the four and a quarter by 11, we're going to score on the 11 inch side across the top and the first score line is going to be at two inches seven and a quarter and seven and three eighths okay so this score line right here is going to be really close together there we go okay so then this is going to be the flap and on okay. this very vanilla piece we're going to score this on the six and a half inch side and we're going to score this at one and three quarter and six. Okay, so this is how this piece is going to be folded like that. Okay, so let's grab our envelope punch board. Okay, so here's my envelope punch board and we're going to take our very vanilla piece. This is the gift card holder, the body of it, or the base. And this flap over here, we're going to line up at one inch and punch. And we're going to flip it over and punch it again at one inch on the measuring board here. So line it up at one inch and punch. Okay, so that's what that should look like. This is gonna be your base. And then for the inside, we're going to punch this part here also at one inch. So one inch here, and you're going to punch. And then flip it over and punch it again at one inch. Okay, so now this is what that looks like. Okay, so the three colors of inks I'm using are the Old Olive, Crumb Cake, and Early Espresso. So first I'm going to go ahead and sponge the border of our base of our gift card holder. So I'm going to use the stamping sponge and I'm going to use the Early Espresso. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's all the sponging. Now we're gonna do some stamping on our little layers here. So we're gonna take the very vanilla pieces and I'm gonna grab some scrap really quick. Okay, so I got some great paper. So we're gonna stamp the background with the sheet music background stamp. It's so beautiful. This is what it looks like. So pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to use the crumb cake. I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to take my very vanilla piece there's the top I'm going to take the other piece of very vanilla I'm going to lay that on the bottom half okay so there's the bottom half we're also going to go ahead and sponge the edges of this with the early espresso Okay, now we're going to use the stamp set. Let me show you that. This is the stamp set I'm going to be using the Christmas Pines, and we're going to use the branches right here, and then also the greetings, which is the Tis the Season, and then Christmas Blessings, and then this one is for the inside. And then I went ahead already and pre cut out the layers right here that match the stamp set as well. Okay, so I'm going to use the old olive for my branches. Stamp this in the corner, but I'm going to stamp off 
make it a little bit lighter shade. And then the second step to this stamp, stamping off as well, stamping over that. So pretty. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and build our layers. Okay, so now we're going to put some glue dots right on the edges of these two points right here. So let me grab some glue dots. Okay, so I'm going to put one glue dot here. And then one glue dot over here in this corner here. And then you're going to seal them up just like that. Then I'm going to grab a gift card and I'm going to put it in my little pocket here and then I'm going to draw a pencil okay, so I'm line. I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to make a guide right where that gift card sits so I know where to stamp my greeting on the inside here. I'm going to use the early espresso ink. I'm going to stamp tidings of comfort and joy. Stamp that right in the center of those pencil lines. And you want to do all your stamping before you put the card together. And then we're going to erase the pencil lines. Okay, now we're going to take some tear and tape. And on this score line right here, we're going to put some tear and tape along this edge. Okay, okay so then this is going to go on the inside of our card here. Okay, so next we're going to take our score line here and we're going to line it up to that very first score line. And I'm keeping it centered between the panel here. And then you're going to fold this over, press that down. So when you open up the card, this little panel in here slides up to reveal the gift card. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some more tear and tape along this edge here. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and fold this forward to make your little pocket in the front, just like that. So then this little insert here slides inside the little front notch right there. Okay, so now it's just a matter of decorating it. So let me close up these ink pads. Okay, so this section is going to go down here. Okay, so I'm just going to open it and put our layer here. This is going to go up the top, right there. Okay, so now we're going to bring in our layers. And I went ahead already and die cut all the layers. I want to show you how I put the pine cones together. So I cut the base with the crumb cake, and then I cut the outline of the pine cone, and then these are going to get layered together. Okay, so I'm going to put a dimensional on the back side of that. And then the two branches, I cut out two different sizes. They're just going to be the three-dimensional part of the card that are going to be overlapping on this branch that we stamped. Love that. And then the pine cones are going to layer over that. And then the little bow, I'm going to put adhesive on the back side of that. You could also use a glue dot. I'm just going to adhere that to the pine cone like that. And add our greetings. Tis the season is going to go up at the top. Right there. And then Christmas blessings for the bottom. And I also stamped this and sponged the edges to kind of age the greeting as well. Isn't that beautiful? So then when they open up the card, the gift card slides forward or slides upward and then they would remove the gift card and then there's another greeting in there. So beautiful. Okay, so there's that one and then here's this one. Okay, so I'll have all the items listed below and then don't forget to stop on over to my blog and check out everybody's Christmas in July projects. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later. Bye!